live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering the AWS Accenture Executive Summit. Brought to you by Accenture. Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's live coverage of the AWS Executive Summit. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight. We're joined by Annette Rippert. She is the Senior Managing Director, Accenture Technology North America. Thanks so much for coming on the, on the really CUBE. Happy to be here today. So let's talk a little bit about Accenture's Innovation for Society initiative. Give, give our viewers a little background on it. Sure, well you know, for quite a while we've been known as a company around innovation. But I think one thing that doesn't always come forward is the fact that you know, since our very early days, we've had this uh, very tight coupling with uh, corporate citizenship, with philanthropy. In fact, we invest 1% of our pre-tax dollars in philanthropic related initiatives. And you know, for a number of years, we've had initiatives like Tech for Good uh, that are part of the DNA of our organization. So when you think about the innovation side of the organization, and then you think about our philanthropic desires, uh, and couple that now with you know, all of the digital technologies, really the possibilities are almost endless when you think about ways that really we strive to be able to conquer not only business problems, but societal problems with technology. So how do you decide where you're going to focus your energy, your time, your resources? How do you choose the, the, the biggest, most pressing problems? Yes, well I think one of the things that's really important is we always start with the business process or the, the societal issue itself. Uh, as opposed to thinking about how can we use a particular technology to you know, instantiate something, we start with really what's the social problem. And uh, you know, one of the ways that we do this, we have a global innovation contest. Our people get so excited to be a part of this, as you could imagine. And uh, one of the tracks is really around tech for good. And so teams from around the world think of ways that they can use technology to solve a particular societal issue. And it's really exciting to see the kind of innovations that come out of that. In the end, the winners globally are funded to be able to take that idea and actually develop it and uh, put it out into use. So talk, talk to about some of the, some of the, the winners and the, the most exciting entrants from your perspective. Yeah. Well, there's, there's one that I think is uh, maybe a good place to start, and that's really around the area of home care, elder care, you know, striving to keep a connection uh, together with somebody who's in that circumstance, right? And being able to uh, provide sort of a real world interaction. So one of the teams took with that in mind, uh, concepts around natural language processing, around AI, and really uh, IOT as well, connecting in sensors in the home, whether that be to doors or to beds or to stoves, which can represent safety concerns. And uh, this innovation was built around an uh, Amazon Echo Show and uh, around the Amazon platform and really enables a lot of freedom and the opportunity for the person who's homebound like that to be able to interface with family, with caregivers, and really better enable an independent living situation that extends you know, that home care environment. So particularly as the world's population is aging, and I mean that, that's, a, that's something that we're exper yeah. experiencing here in the US, you can see how that really would help to solve a social uh, challenge. Yes, yeah, pretty exciting. Yeah, so talk to me a little bit more about how this, this contest works in terms of teams within Accenture working together, collaborating, and, and do they self-form the teams? Does Accenture tell them how to? <laughs> we announce the competition and people self-form. It can be an individual, it can be a team. Uh, they do this on their own time. They spend time really thinking about how they can apply new concepts. So for us, it's an opportunity for people to learn, um, but then they also think about, you know, wanting to address something that's another part of them, you know, doing social good. So it's also an opportunity to contribute and give back through the process of this competition. I know that you're one of the parts of the Innovation for Social Good is the Skills to Succeed uh, initiative. Can you tell our viewers a little bit more about that? Sure, well this is a program really that um, has taken off like wildfire and we've been doing it for many, many years. And it's targeted with extending uh, technology skills to individuals who come from 
uh, you know, uh, lesser than means. It's a way of extending skills and capability and coaching to provide them the ability to really re-enter the workforce, re-enter the workforce with skills and get on their feet. Um, it's been something, it is pervasive across our business. Uh, um, most of our people have participated in some way, whether through uh, coaching or other initiatives, and it's been very successful. So you go into these communities and, and, and coach marginalized communities? Yes, and then it provides an opportunity for them to be able to re-enter, whether re-enter the workforce, uh, whether with us or any other organization. Uh, we look most to provide them with skills. Uh, we also provide them with other things that, you know, you don't think about when somebody is trying to re-enter the workforce, whether that happens to be, you know, clothing or other capability to be able to get back on your feet. So let's talk about this, this moment in time in, in the technology industry. So we have this explosion of digital technologies, as you were saying, AI and machine learning and uh, big data, data analytics. And, and we have companies sort of coming together saying, hey, there are a lot of pressing global challenges, societal challenges. We need to harness these technologies to solve them. I mean, do you think that that, that, that what we're, can you describe, since you are really on the ground, your boots on the ground yeah. in the middle of this, what it's like to be in this environment? Do you think that other companies are sort of following Accenture's lead? I mean, how would you describe what's going on? Well, I think that for a very long time, as I was mentioning, part of our mission statement as a company is to help the way the world works and lives. And so it's been kind of core to the way that uh, we operate the business and our core values. But I think what's happening now is there is a lot more awareness of social good. And instead of supporting a charity or you know being a partner together with a charity now, we find ways we can really uh, amplify our ability to make uh, difference, and that is by leveraging our capability around technology to help take that devotion of time, that interest, and really step it up in a pretty significant way to bring that technology in a way that really is disruptive to changing the societal issue. But at the same time, you don't want to necessarily start with the technology yes, itself. You yes. want to make sure you're starting with the problem. Well, that really comes back to you know the way that we address business problems and the way we address these societal problems is all of our people are taught concepts around design thinking, around human-centered design. And so that concept of starting with you know what is the human problem is a very natural course uh, because that's the way that we solve all of our business problems. And so I think that that's uh, in thinking about how we solve those issues or collaborate in order to do that, I think really drives a lot more complete answers, in fact, to the kind of problems that we look to solve. And that's why starting with the societal issue and really what's at risk, what are we trying to address, and then thinking of creative ways to be disruptive around that. In some cases, it's not even around the technology. It's about you know thinking in a new way about how to address those and issues. And a cultural shift and, yes. and getting people to, yeah, exactly, collaborate differently. So I know you just came from a hackathon and uh, you were helping uh, charities think different, think about a problem they wanted to solve and then think about how we could use technology to solve it. Um, t tell us, tell our viewers a little bit more about the hackathon sure. here. Well, you know, our interest in this area is, uh, you can tell I'm very passionate about it. We invest a lot of time uh, from a corporate standpoint and we're helping to sponsor this hackathon here uh, at AWS reInvent and we're doing that together with uh, several organizations. For example, Girls Who Code, uh, let me see, uh, Game Changer, Compassion, and Goodwill are all other uh, organizations that are participating in the hackathon. And they had really interesting problems that they brought to the table. In fact, one of the problems that we talked about today that the teams are over hacking away, thinking about, is you know there are many organizations that sponsor uh, very underprivileged children, right? Um, and create, in this organization situation, they create a one-to-one -one relationship between a sponsor and a child. And they were looking for ways to be able to connect those two parties uh, by using natural language processing. They wanted to facilitate a near real-time kind of dialogue across the boundaries of language in a way that uh, ensures protection of the child and you know that there's nothing malicious that could happen through that direct connection. Of course, 
you know, we expect everyone to be well-meaning in that, but you know, part of the innovation is also protecting the children too. So the teams are over hacking away, uh, looking at this and several other kind of problems, social problems, tech for good type of initiatives throughout the day today. So, so nec at next year's, let's, let's, let's look into our crystal balls here and think about what we're going to be talking about at next year's AWS Executive Summit. Um, what, what is on the table for this year and what kinds of things are most exciting you that you're? Well, I think all the innovation, you know, just further enables it. The way that we think about how we're using today artificial intelligence, and you couple that together with so many other things around, you know, whether the example I just gave around natural language processing, and you couple that together with the societal and business problems that are here, I mean, it's really quite explosive. So you think about all of the new innovation that's being announced this week, uh, I think, you know, the opportunity to be able to drive that even deeper into whether it happens to be a business or societal problem, you know, will be even more interesting next year. Well, Annette, thank you so much for coming on theCUBE. It was great talking to you, a really thank fun you. conversation. Enjoyed it. I'm Rebecca Knight. We will have more from the AWS Executive Summit coming up in just a little bit. <laughs>